Well, my first exposure to Jefferson was when I was in the third grade. I read a biography of Jefferson, a child's biography of Jefferson, and it was a series, part of a series, you know, Dolly Madison, George Washington Carver, that kind of thing that sort of teach early civics lessons to a young kid. Well, uh, sure, and you know, in terms of where he was born and all those kinds of things, it had along with it um, a story about uh, an enslaved boy who was supposed to be Jefferson's same age, and there was this sort of contrast between Jefferson, the bright and energetic, curious person, and the enslaved boy who was kind of lazy and playful. You know, he wanted to go fish and do things while Jefferson you know, wanted to get back to his books. So it wasn't an accurate portrayal to me. I saw this as sort of sending a message here about the essential nature, nature of Jefferson, but also the essential nature of, of black people. Uh, because of all the things, you know, you could have told a story about a boy who, uh, the tragedy of the fact that he didn't get to go to the school, but it was all, uh, it was very opposites. They were presented as opposites, black and white, Jefferson and this enslaved person. So it, you know, it told a, an accurate story in terms of the sort of reference points of Jefferson's life when he was born and so forth, but not really the nature of Southern slave society or black people. Really.